Hi, and welcome to the second of two short videos um, which I'm taking today um, just to show how straightforward it is to check the operation of the Mark II PV router um, even when you haven't got um, PV available or uh, this is actually um, the router that's generated power uh, for our hot water uh, today but it's at the moment I've disconnected it from the main system to show how it can be tested in isolation. Uh, normally power comes in through this orange wire here um, the live of which uh, goes off to our consumer unit the neutral of which um, or the switch live I should say of which goes off to the uh, immersion heater those two wires are normally joined uh, in this junction box here by the, the triac um, at the moment um, the feed is coming from a separate um, source um, this is simply um, unswitched uh, 240 volts um, feed coming in from the other side of the garage. So that comes in and when the triac fires um, continuity is, is maintained and uh, this is made live. Um, the power comes down through here. Uh, one core of which is measured through the CT um, and the load comes down to our trusty 3 kilowatt kettle here. Now through the CT we have a second uh, core and that is simply the feed to a 100 watt light bulb. So there's my 100 watt light bulb and the power for it comes through here. I happen to have used the, um, the live but it doesn't matter uh, which one you use as long as the current is flowing in opposite directions um, it'll work fine. And then that is fed through another independent supply. So it's all on. It was working um, a couple of minutes ago. I switched off and the energy bucket was full so hopefully if I switch on now we'll get a little burst while the energy bucket is taken down to its halfway point um, and then nothing more will happen because there's no more energy coming into the system so here we go so the kettle came on for a second a bit less than a second something like that and the energy bucket is now at its threshold level um, that power has gone into the uh, kettle and um, nothing will happen until I um, simulate some more PV. So I'm going to do that by switching the um, light on, which I simply do by turning it on here and as you'll see the light will come on and when we go around to the kettle, lo and behold the kettle is operating. Now because I've got um, three turns on the cable that supplies the 100 watt light bulb that's um, the equivalent of 300 watts worth of current flowing through the CT which is 10% um, of the rating of our kettle so this kettle should be flashing at 1 tenth duty cycle which I can believe um, it will get warm but it'll take obviously a lot longer than normal if I were to um, put more turns around the CT I could get it operating at a faster rate and if I were to um, say just have one turn then it would operating, be operating at a very slow. Now we can actually see the energy bucket working in a slightly different way than we've done before. If I switch this off then the energy bucket will go from 1800 to 3600. So when I put it down we will get full power while the energy bucket drops and then we'll get the flicky power. Okay so that's a similar amount of power that you saw at the beginning of the demo which essentially means that the energy bucket um, doesn't leak much. I see about half a joule per second, no more than a joule per second um, leaking out of, out of my system. So that's quite a nice little demo. So the energy bucket is now full as opposed to normally it only gets to half full. Here it is at, at 3600 watts drops quickly down to 1800 because the rate of simulated PV is so slow and um, and then we get the, um, the flicker rate and if I leave the kettle unchanged and go and switch off here the light goes out and one would expect the kettle to not be flicking um, which is indeed the case if I switch the kettle off. So now when I were to put the light on the energy bucket will get to the threshold point and get to the um, absolutely full point 3600. If I switch off, go back to the kettle, 
which is currently off. As I switch it on, we'll get the characteristic one second burst, and then the kettle uh, switches off. So with nothing more than a couple of mains feeds and a, a double twist round the CT, um, you can check the operation of your uh, Mark II power router to uh, connect, convert this back for hopefully some um, useful harvesting of, of um, solar power tomorrow. It's simply a case of taking the wires off the CT, clipping it back to one of the cables that supplies the house and reconnecting up that orange wire um, into there to connect to the triax. And then to make sure it works, I will um, rerun the technique which I showed in the first of these videos to check that all appears to be well. Uh, because tomorrow I probably won't be here when the system starts and it's important to make sure that the system is likely to start otherwise you uh, you waste uh, a day's harvest if you're not here to uh, to monitor the thing so uh, thanks for watching uh, cheers for now